proud of the legacy of its alumni who offered ultimate sacrifice in defense of the motherland and also those whose acts of valor made the nation proud. Lord Toka is indebted to the relatives of Shoda and the Ghazis who have honored the institution with their presence today. We would like to assure them that the new generation of Topians is up in flames with the examples of their seniors and would repay the debt to the nation whenever the occasion arises. Ladies and gentlemen, the role of PF for his old Opa is to tap young talents from all parts of the country, in class A and on merit alone, and then mold them into dignified young men with special emphasis on moral, spiritual, intellectual, and physical grooming. We at the college try our best to ensure that these sublime goals are met pivotingly. The parents of Lord Dopa is the most important event in the calendar of activities of the college and is traditionally held in the pleasant month of October. The day is special as it gives us an opportunity to welcome so many of our valuable guests and well wishers. The excitement is visible on the growing faces of our young pre -parents. The young Topians, following in the footsteps of their predecessors, continue to do well both at the academy, in their services, universities, and indeed later in their careers. The college is trying to enhance this contribution to the PF, both in terms of numbers as well as with the quality of its graduates. Our rate of selection at the SSB has gradually improved for the last few years, though our resolve is to achieve much above the present score. In the context of academics, the year 2016-17 has been a rewarding one in terms of achievements. In metric, AQ achieved close to full GPA. The entire entry secured A+, barring only one A grade. In FSC, the outgoing A and entry achieved 100% pass percentage with a GP of 4.95, which is superior to the score of previous six years. The top boy of A and entry, ex pre cadet Noman Sadiq, scored 89%. We are glad to have him here today to receive his trophy as Tokyo Scholar. Our present final job. Our present final term, that is AP entry, also get bad in the first year. Scoring 100% pass percentage, the class aggregate has been 79%, which translates into a GP of 5.22. Here I must add that under the guidance of Chief of the Air Staff, the Air Headquarters have revived the foreign training program alongside the in-country courses for the faculty. This gracious step would ensure a better qualified and devoted faculty that is a keystone on which the whole edifice of the institution rests. We at PF College Ortoba do realize that co-curricular activities form the core of an all-round education and development. Our boys regularly participate in declamations quizzes, essay writing, and other such competitions at the national level and bring laurels to the college. This year, our boys excelled at all Pakistan declamation contests. Among them, the most coveted has been the APDC Trophy at PF Academy Azhar Khan, where our boys secured top positions both in English and Urdu. The other trophy lifted by our young eaglets was the Chief of the ESCA Bilingual Declamation Contest at PF Complex Islamabad. One of our boys also won the top position in English speech at APDC held at Sadiq Public School, Bhavalpur. <laughs> Last month, two of our boys won the shield of best diplomat in modern United Nations session held at Lawrence College. Apart from winning trophies at these contests, 
Ethiopians brought back rich memories and experiences from these wonderful places. In parallel with these achievements, Toba boys evinced keen interest in sports as well. Besides playing a number of fixtures in Murray area, they also left their mark as Topians at federal board intercollegiate sports competitions. One week from now, Lower Toba is hosting PF College Sagoda, and so Sagodian Spirit Trust for this school, Rashtabad, for a triangular sports meet. Besides matching their battle with the boys of sister institutions, the event would also help strengthen the upcoming lifelong bonds. Topians express their gratitude to the air staff at her headquarters that continues to provide support to give a structural identity to the college and to bring it into an institution, trying to transform it into an institute of eminence. Here, I must mention that without the guidance of Chief of the Air Staff on the new program plan, we could not have moved this far. Now, an altogether new vision for PF College Orthopa has been conceived. The new sustainable house and college cafeteria are being fully utilized. The inauguration of new academic block shall, inshallah, be carried out before the end of this year, while new squash court, history room, new services block, an extra room from detention ward and past nearing completion. Construction of empty room from prep room at Bal House has been started while work on prep room Tiku Sutan House and new three credits dining hall shall commence by next month. Indeed, completion of these works will usher in a new beginning at the college. On this occasion, I must compliment the role of the parents whose support and guidance is almost always available to us. To reciprocate, we assure them that their awards are in the best space and are well on their way to attain excellence. We congratulate them on the achievements of their sons and thank them for their encouragement. We also wish their sons all the best and pray for their success in joining great fighting force of the Pakistan Air Force and in whatever they undertake in their lives. In the end, on my behalf and on behalf of the faculty, the staff, the pre-cadets and all members of TF Lotoba, I once again thank Air Chief Master Suleiman and Begum Sahiba and all our honorable guests, especially relatives of Joda and Ghazis and the parents for gracing this occasion. <laughs>